All right, here we go. 10.6, we're talking about secants, tangents, and angle measures. Okay, we've looked at chords before, and a chord is just inside the circle. A secant is basically like the chord, but we've extended into a line. So a line that crosses a circle in two points. Remember, a tangent just crossed the circle in one point, or touched the circle in one point. Okay, so both of these are considered secants of circle C. If two secants intersect inside a circle, the angle measure is the average of the intersected arcs. So I'll add those two together and divide by two, or I could say it's half the sum of the intercepted arcs. Uh, all right, we could use that. Here we go. So to find x, remember we just average these two together. So we'll add together 84 and 130 and then find half of that. Average those together. Add them, divide by 2, and we get x is 107. The average of 84 and 130. Pretty easy. Okay, here we want to find x. All right, now notice that is not the angle that we would find with these right here but that's not a problem. We can first find the average of these two, add them together, divide by 2, and that gives us 109 for this angle. And since this is on a line with those, we subtract that from 180, and we get x is 71. All right, now, a secant and a tangent, if they intersect at the point of tangency, then the angle formed is half that of the measure of the intersected arc. Same thing on the other side here. This angle measure 2 is half of the arc from B to C to A. Okay, so using that, here's an example. We want to find angle QPR. So we're looking for this angle right here. We know that this is 148, so pretty easy half of 148, and that gives me 74. All right, we want to find the measure of the arc DEF. So that's this big one right here. Okay, so our strategy is going to be we find the small one and then subtract that from 360 to find the big one. Okay, this is 64, which means that is half of this arc right here. So that's half of the arc FD. So if we multiply that by 2, multiply by 2, we get the arc FD is 128, and then 360 minus 128 is 232. All right, if they intersect outside of the circle, whether it's two secants, a secant and a tangent, or two tangents, if they intersect outside, then we have half the difference. Okay, so then we subtract these two and take half of that. All right, half the difference. Okay, a couple examples here. We know that this is 102. Find the measure of this angle. Well, notice these are both tangents. They only touch at one point, which means this is a full circle. So if this is 102, then... We'll subtract that from 360 to find out how much the rest is. This is 360 minus 102. And then, so this around the outside is 258. And we'll find the difference between these two. Subtract those two. And half of that is the angle measure. So that's 78 for this angle. Or here we want to find the measure of the arc CD, and we know that this is 95. So we know that 56 is half the measure of these two subtracted from each other. So we can plug that in. 56 is half of CD minus 95. Multiply by 2 on each side, times 2 gives me 112, and then we're going to add 95, and that gives us a measure of 207 units for CD. Okay, here's a quick recap. If they intersect inside, 
then just find the average or it's half the sum. If they intersect outside, whether it's secants, tangents, or a secant and a tangent, we find half the difference. And that's all there is to it.